Hello my Soccer Universe to another jersey video from my collection. You've seen this jersey of course being unpacked but I want to make a dedicated jersey to look at all the intricacies that it has. This is one of the two jerseys that I got to celebrate 100 subscribers which was a mere uh, nine months ago and now I'm almost approaching 300 so I hope that I look back out this video in two years and so on and say was 100, 300 I was celebrating. Let's see. I hope I hope I will get to many many more soon. The jersey I want to show you is an Italian jersey and it is from one of my favorite Italian teams that actually got away a little you know fell away at one point. Of course I'm talking about Parma. This is from the 1819 season as you can see on this wonderful patch. I'm glad it came from Petrapoli the classic football shirts. I'm glad it came with this patch here. Uh, there's a little bit too much glare from the stuff, but I never really liked this uh, Serie A logo. I'm glad they changed it to something better. This is basically a transition logo between the previous one where they had kind of the soccer ball and now the, the current one where there's just the A. I think the A logo is really, really strong. I actually am thinking of probably ironing it out because this spins a lot, so that's one thing. But yeah, this Parma jersey I have been looking at ever since I saw it for getting it. I remember even going to the Parma web, web page uh, when I didn't really have yet the idea that uh, yeah, you can buy jerseys for cheap. I did not get this for really cheap. I got it then off uh, classicfootballshirts.com and uh, they never had it. I mean, I think they had had, had a few times in my size, but they never really had it. Uh, the way I wanted or I it, it was just not the time to get it and I said now this is the last one that's left and this was only an L oh, I think it is let me check that quickly but I'm pretty sure it's just an L and I'm usually an XL yes it says here in the middle size tag uh, it's very very hidden but it says right next to the Phoenix it says an L uh, so yeah it fits very very tight if you get an area jersey or any of these italian brands I always consider sizing up not sizing down so l fits really really tight but i have to say ever since i saw this jersey this was the first season ever back this is just a beauty for me this is harking back to the late 90s to the jersey that they won the uefa cup with in 99 it is only the away jersey but this should be the parma look no let me the Parma look should be white jerseys with a little bit yellow and blue up there. But this as an away jersey is just gorgeous. And I absolutely love that it is here a lot of blue, but then the sleeves are yellow. When they did the last season, uh, kind of the reverse more blue here and then um, kind of flip it. It doesn't look as cool. I think it looks much cooler in this con con configuration. Of course, I, it has lots of sponsors on there. It has the our own sponsor, it has the Chetilla, but it uh, fits kind of nicely in here. It's not obtrusive in any way uh, and they even got to go on the back and I got it with Bruno Alves because this was the only one that was available in a size that I will fit in and I really like actually the Beretta sponsor with Viva La Mano Mama. Um, that looks also cool and you know in the back you have the Phoenix Parma Culture 1913. You have on the sleeve uh, area that was printed in, on. This one is nicely stitched if you can pick it up. The sponsor is of course just a plastic train transfer. The crest is a cloth that is sewn on, which is something I like a lot. Uh, this logo is also really, really nicely stitched on here. Uh, there's of course another one. The black cross on white is on the low, uh, the tail on the, on the back. But what I think really makes this jersey stand out is not only the colors, but there's a slight gradient in there that's achieved with dots and I think it's probably best to see it here. The inner part is a little bit lighter blue and then it fades into a navy blue. It is just a crazy good effect I have to say. And I, ha I have, to have, have to say that uh, Area jerseys, uh, the few teams that they have, I mean they had the Pescara Dolphin jersey and some other, they actually look quite cool, they, they do quite well. Uh, it's definitely an underrated brand, uh, it's not like Homer in a way. Then uh, you have here the patch uh, below here, Parma Culture. I think that's all that there is to it. Of course, is there on the inner? Yes. There are some instructions. Of course, take care, name, number, you can put in there as well. So yeah, 
It's a really nice shirt on the inside. You have Parma culture written. As I said, it's a really nice shirt. I wish that Parma would do better because it deserves to be put on this wall here. This is one of the best Italian shirts uh, that I have, I think. Uh, at least one that I, I, I really wish that would be more pro prominent, but since I usually order the shirts on the back according to the projected league standings, you find it mostly here. I mean, it's still really visible in the video, but it deserves, deserves a much more prominent place. Definitely among my favorite shirts uh, from Serie A that I have. It's just gorgeous. Of course, I would like to have a 90s Parma shirt. Really, 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 really. And I'm looking for a white one. Actually, the one that I like is probably the one that they were least successful with in all the spirits. The 96 church just with the uh, weird 95, 9, 96 when Stoichkov was, was playing with this very intricate uh, banded pattern in yellow and blue on a white jersey. That is the I love. But yeah, this one is also a really great one. Let, them, let me know. And they actually played quite a bit. And I will always remember they beat Inter in that one at San Zero. Okay. Let me know what you think about this jersey. If you have any memories attached to it, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel to see more. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.